Let's fix voicemail if it's not working on your iPhone. Now, if you're opening up that phone app and you're trying to either check your voicemail, change your greeting, any of those different things, and it's just not working, I'm gonna walk you through a few steps to get that fixed. The first and easiest thing we'll do is hop out of here and go into our settings. And we're gonna to toggle on airplane mode. You'll see that this disconnects from your cellular network and potentially just disconnecting and reconnecting to your carrier will fix this. So toggle on airplane mode and we'll toggle it back off. Now, the next thing we'll do is if that doesn't fix it, we'll go down and go to phone here. And then you can see under call forwarding, we'll tap on that. You can see call forwarding is turned off. If that's turned on, potentially somebody will call and instead of voicemail, it will just get forwarded onto some other phone number, some other device. So make sure that call forwarding is turned off. The next thing that we can do is we'll go back and go back again, and we will tap on general. Let's go to software update, check to see if there's a software update, potentially that's causing your phone to have issues and there's a fix built into that iOS update. The next thing we'll do is we'll go back again and we'll tap on transfer or reset iPhone. And then at the bottom, we'll hit reset. And then the second option, reset network settings. This resets your connection to your carrier and a lot of times fixes any kind of phone or voicemail issues and potentially will just you know reset everything back to factory default. You might need to go in and change your greeting and all that stuff again, but it should be working at that point. Now, the last thing that you can do is check to see if there's a firmware update for your carrier. Let's go back. And then we'll tap on about. And then if you just scroll down to the bottom here, you can see this eSIM and SIM card. If there is something on here that says you need to update your firmware for your carrier, just tap that update button. It'll go through and update the connection and software between your iPhone and the carrier itself. And sometimes this fixes any kind of bugs or issues. Hope this helps. Do you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.